And he called me in like a panic after I had been there earlier in the day and I was mowing my yard. I missed a call. I listened to the voicemail. It was the doctor goes, hey, you need to call me back ASAP, please. That's all he said. And I was like, huh. So I finished mowing my yard and I was like planning my will, my funeral. I thought he was going (laughs) to tell me I had cancer. I was going to die. So I was like, by the time I got to mow my yard, dude, I was. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I did. Dr. Puss are mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 39 of K Love You Bye. What's up? Jive, jive. Gotta get the jive. The jive just makes you feel good inside. I got mm. uh. Get the jive. Get the jive. Uh, uh. Uh. Get the jive. Yeah. Get yeah. You, get you flowing. Get you uh, uh. loose. It's like doing metaposture stretches. Yes. Makes me feel good. Oh. What's up? Hey, what's up, dude? How much? What's up to all of you? How's everybody doing? How's your week been? How's your week been? Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey there. How's everybody's uh everybody's what? Yeah, I bet you 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 feel like some we had something important happen since last time we were Yeah. There was nothing important. It was a nice weekend. How was your weekend, everybody? There was nothing this weekend? Nope. There was nothing. Oh, okay. You're a little confused because the heart attacks and yeah. I which hey, off. we should uh, we should bring that back up because I know everybody's concerned about you, and they should be because you had another really dramatic episode. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, since the last time we were we were talking with all of y'all, Brandon had a really bad episode where he thought he was dying again. I didn't really think I was dying. Well, wouldn't you know it? You didn't have the heart monitor on when it happened. No, I don't. I was actually on the way to the hospital to take the heart monitor in. Did they, did they, did you drop it off yet? Yeah, I dropped it off. What's today? Today's Wednesday. I dropped it off yesterday. They read the data on it? No, I don't know. If they did, they hadn't told me about it yet. Usually, if you're not dying, they wait to like send you a letter. Well, they had to, they had to courier it over to Belmont, the Belmont Hospital. And then they had to read it over there. So yeah, I went and got a physical one time, and uh, I had you know we had when you deploy you got to get like the anthrax shot or whatever. Mm, yeah, that's fun. And I don't, I'm not sure how long it's like in your system or in your body, but it must stay like the dead virus must stay for a while mm. because I got I got back from. Uh, active duty and it was like the first physical I went to I had a new primary care physician whatever and he called me in like a panic after I had been there earlier in the day and I was mowing my yard I missed a call I listened to the voicemail it was the doctor goes hey you need to call me back ASAP please that's all he said and I was like huh so I finished mowing my yard and I was like planning my will, my funeral. I thought he was going <laughs> to tell me I had cancer. I was going to die. So I was like, by the time I got to mow my yard, dude, I was I was pretty well like, I'm good. Accepted, I'm accepting good. Accepting I've it. done a lot of cool things in life. I'm ready. I'm ready to go, I guess. So I called him. He's like, hey, your blood work came back and, and you were exposed to anthrax. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, you ever... You ever, you know, open any letters or something? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I got a shot for that when I deployed. And he's like, oh, you were in the military? I go, yeah. He's like, okay, you got a vaccine for it? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, I feel better about that then. And I'm like, <laughs> is that it? He's like, yeah, yeah. It, that was the only thing that was weird. Cholesterol is just a little high, though. <laughs> he goes, I need you to come in and talk to me about that. My triglycerides were like, I can't remember what they're supposed to be. I think it's like 
down like 90s or 100 or something is what they're 70 maybe is what they're supposed to be yeah mine were like 480 (laughs) (laughs) he's like he's like your triglycerides like you're gonna die of a heart attack and i go well nobody told me to fast before i came and did the last blood work and i'm pretty sure before i came in here i ate like three deluxe sanchos from taco tico (laughs) he's like okay well that explains that too well that will he goes, do you're healthy as an ox. And I go, oh, <laughs> you're potentially healthy as you can be. I'm like, so I got to rip up the will I drew up in my head. <laughs> I got to unplan my funeral. <laughs> I guess I got, hopefully they have the offer re- returns on those caskets. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me that new Bugatti I just ordered? I got to call and cancel <laughs> that because I can't afford it. Oh, Fuck. Man. Yeah, dude, that was, it's weird how immediately you go you go to panic oh, yeah. on shit like that you know what i mean mm-hmm. and, and, and 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 it's just it's not just me. it's it's literally every man that goes to his once every five-year physical yeah and then you get that blood work back and the doctor calls because your cholesterol is high or something stupid like that and you immediately are like sweating bullets i wonder how much i wonder how much time i actually do have <laughs> <laughs> Not much, buddy. You have approximately one month. You've been living your life like a train wreck. It's been a it's, good run. It's it's taken its toll. Yep. But I hope they come up with an answer for what's going on with you because that would that would suck if your only answer was you just got to take Adderall for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's not Adderall. Oh, what is it? Uh, fluoxetine. Now, it's Prozac. That sounds even more made up because I feel like you told me it was something different today. No, that's so, Nexium. <clears throat> no, I have I have Prozac for a daily thing, and they gave me um, what's Prozac? It's like anti anxiety. Isn't that prostate depression medication no, or some shit? No, it's like for depression and anxiety and shit like that. Okay, but they gave me they gave me um oh my god uh, Laura uh, Laura tabs no. That's all I can think of every time I try to think of what it's called. It's Is it the chloroform? Laura Piz- No. Lorazepam. Lorazepam. That's what it is. Lorazepam. Oh, otherwise known as Ativan. Ativan. That's what it was. <clears throat> yeah. That's a, that's only like a two. It's like it's I knew, 15, 15 pills. It's I only take as needed. Only take as needed. Okay. I didn't take one a day. I knew a guy named Brandon and he Ativan. Down by the river. Okay. <laughs> what, what's that mean they used to do? Mexican word of the day. Oh, yeah. Add a van. <laughs> Brandon, add a van. I don't know, man. He had a van. Yeah, it doesn't really quite work, though. Yeah, just keep putting down my fucking, my good jokes. Yeah, good, jokes. <laughs> good That's jokes. That's a good one. You know what's a good joke? What? You. I saw that coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of like some other shit I've seen coming out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Coming. Come. Out of your mouth. Ming. You fucking so, man whore. Yeah. Doesn't your sister live in Sioux City? No, she lives in uh, Cedar Rapids. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And she she called my wife the other, or not that long ago, bitching that her, her truck got broke into, and they... They stole a bunch of girly shit, I guess. Girly shit? Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what they stole. I'm just guessing it's girly and, you know, because she's, she's gay. <laughs> but, uh. Gay sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I like to make fun of my sister because she's gay. I know you do. And then she, like, when I make fun of her for being gay, which I have zero problems with anybody. If you make fun of my sister for being gay, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> but I can make fun of my sister for being gay. What's your sister? I like being mean to my sister. Yeah. Uh, so we have this like this friendly thing where I call my sister and my sister in law the gays. Mm-hmm. That's just what we call them, the gays. The gays are coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this thing where like she'll call me like needing like advice on like remodeling her rental or whatever. And she, or she'll call to be like, hey, check out the floors I just put in my rental. I'll be like, oh, nice. Those look gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just throw that in there all the time. 
But we she had her to. truck fucking broken into, Domin, right? And she's like, ooh. And she never told me about it. She told everybody else because that's how she fucking is. Mm-hmm. She'll, she'll come to town and Colby finds out after she's in town. Yeah. Everybody else knew she was coming. But uh, she's, she was talking to Jaden about, oh, my truck got broken into or something. And I'm like, yeah, well, maybe it's because you live in a shitty fucking town. City. Town. Yeah. Maybe if you move back to somewhere not so shitty, you wouldn't get your truck broke into. Mm -hmm. I think it was an inside job. An inside job? I think so. From her? Yeah, because they were out of town when it happened. Somebody mm -hmm. was scouting her. They knew their schedules. I'm sure they went inside the house, too. Probably fed the cats. <laughs> it was an inside job. Yeah, it sounds about They knew normal. what they were doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah for sure. Yeah. That's just because that's something that happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah, to normal you people. Can't, you can't trust people in a big you city like that, you know? You can't trust anybody in anywhere. I barely trust you. Oh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if I was friends with me, I don't know if I'd trust me either, Brent. <laughs> so I can't really blame you there. Yeah. You know, I'm one of those guys where you leave me alone in your house and I'll look through your shit just so I have some fucking dirt on you. <laughs> Just, just so I, when you're trying to like give me shit, I can lean over and whisper in your ear and be like, "Hey, that shit you got hidden in your undies drawer, everyone's gonna know about it." <laughs> that prostate and then you, look, you got in there, <laughs> and then you look at me like, "How the fuck?" And you go, hmm. "Watching you." <laughs> <laughs> I can see you doing that like creepy ass. <laughs> you got to get the upper hand somehow. Yeah. Yeah, you always got to get the fucking information from on people's. Mm -hmm. Especially for the end of the world, you got to know everything about everybody. You know what, though? Here's the thing. I'm one of those guys where if you're in my inner circle, I don't give a fuck what you do, and I'm not going to second guess or question anything you do. I mean, if you're one of my best friends, I know your tendencies, and I know if I can trust you, so I don't give a shit what the fuck you do behind a closed door. I don't give a shit. Like, when, I, when I'm friends with you, I'm friends with you. Mm -hmm. Like, what you do is your shit. I, I, can, I can sense, you know, the kind of stuff people do or won't do. Hence why you have fucking the code to my fucking building, which yeah. is the same code to my fucking house. Which you can tell me that because I've for, I still don't know what it is. I forget. But that's the thing. <laughs> that's I mean, like, there's, there's people where it's like, if I'm not home... Go and you have the code, and you go in my fucking shop or my house. I don't give a fuck. I know you're not going to take nothing. Well, I know you might play a joke on me, but it's going to be funny. <laughs> like I, that's the kind of shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Well, now I have a plan. But like me and you, right? Mm -hmm. I'd fucking, I'd fucking give you the key to the fucking safe. You know what I mean? Your money safe. For whatever, I don't, I don't have a safe, but I'd give you the key to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I would too. But on the other hand, there's some other motherfuckers out there that will act like your goddamn best friend. You got to keep an eye on them until you know for sure. Yeah. I mean, if if they're too afraid to get on their knees and check and see if your hemorrhoid's infected, <laughs> you cannot call them your best friend. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. That's how I look Who at it. Who wouldn't do that, you know? If you ask me, like, dude, you know, I don't want sh I don't want my wife digging my asshole to look at this thing. Will you check it? See if it's, you know, a little ripe? I'd be like, <laughs> let's see it, dude. Keep the bean bag up so it's not, you know. <laughs> in your face. In my face, yeah. but yeah. Just, you might have to touch it a little bit and just make sure. Do it's you want to know how I know that me and you are best friends? Oh. Or at least you're my one of my best friends. I was in the shower, right, before we came out here. Mm -hmm. And I was getting after it in the shower, right? <laughs> yeah. And I was imagining that my hand was your hand. <laughs> That's not gay at all. No, it's not gay. It's just you're my best friend. And I was like, maybe I should give him a shot at this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it might feel different if I imagine it's his hand instead of mine. <laughs> Oh, oh, and when I was done, I even gave you a high five in my head. Did you? I said, God damn, good job, Brandon. Nice. <laughs> uh, 
Who oh. fucking brought this guy? Who brought this guy? Who brought guy? this guy? Uh, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Coming up this weekend. We got... Well, by the time you guys hear this, it'll be Memorial Day. So happy fucking Memorial Day. <laughs> Love you guys. I hope you all have the fucking most fun. I hope you celebrate with your families, your friends, and you take a moment to remember to remember the most important part of Memorial Day. The main reason why you're barbecuing on a Monday. All of the brave men and women that never made it home mm -hmm. who fought like hell to make sure that we can have a day to celebrate. So make sure at some point in your day, you take a few minutes to just stop and reflect and embrace and say a big old thank you to all of them that have not made it home. Indeed. Indeed. Mm-hmm. I know you're going to feel the need to think of a veteran or somebody that's still around. And most of us veterans don't want you to do that because it's not about us. Nope. You save that for uh, Veterans Day. You can thank us on Veterans Day <laughs> if you feel the need. Uh, but Monday is for the fallen. Mm -hmm. So make sure you take a few minutes to keep that in your mind while you're enjoying yourself and not having to go to work and doing all your play time activities yep. all your barbecuing and stuff but i will say i will be having some goddamn fun this weekend i want to keep it low key though low key yeah dude i'm like getting to that age where i'm sick of that like hustle and bustle holiday weekend bullshit where hmm. the whole thing's planned up and you're just like oh, 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 nah. not yeah. having fun because you gotta do this and then we gotta do this and I want to keep it low key. Like, wake up and decide what we're going to do after we wake up. You know what I mean? Or if you're going to do. Yeah. Like, wake up, go outside, enjoy the nice weather, stand outside for a while, drink a beer at 8 30 in the morning, and be like, what do I want to do today? I'd be, I'd be perfectly okay with not doing a fucking thing this weekend. Yeah. I got to go up to Minnesota on Saturday, take on Bailey Saturday. to the airport. But hey, speaking of, uh, Jaden bought a bunch of shit to barbecue this weekend. You want to fucking do burgers and brats and stuff? And sure, okay. What? Just let me know when. Yeah, we'll stop. Get some white stuff. Ooh, the white stuff. Yeah. If you guys are ever in town, in case you guys are wondering, it's the, white stuff. The white stuff goes good at crackers. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you about the white stuff. No, you'll just have to figure it out. If you really want to know, you can reach out and we'll give you the we'll give you the deets. Yeah, drop a comment. The white stuff. We'll let you know about the white stuff on a cracker. On a cracker. What's that guy say? Put it on a cracker, dude. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't get I don't get sued for saying that. Is that a thing? What yeah, man. That? He's he's that badass dude from uh, I think he's from like Louisiana. He like sells live crawfish and shit, but then he does a bunch of TikToks and like cooking. Hmm. No, I don't know. He's got like a giant, he's got a fucking crawfish broil pot, like the size of this fucking table. I'm stirring it up, showing you how to fucking do crawfish and makes like gator balls, like cra they're like crab cakes, but they're like made out of gator. Yeah. And gar. 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 Like, like actual gar balls. Gar balls. Them. Gar balls. Yeah, dude. He's, he's, he's fucking good, but he's always like, he's got like this long ass white blonde wig on and wears like a bandana and these big shades and. Yeah, I have no idea. He's always like, yep, and and while we wait, we hydrate. And he, like, does a little, like, that little beer bong with, like, the koozie that's got the little thing comes down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's always like, put that on a crack of dude. I have no idea. Yeah. You don't, you've never seen that dude? No. He's big on TikTok, man. I don't do a whole lot of TikTok, to be honest, anymore. Yeah, ever since some fuckers goddamn decided to ban us. We'll or, get at him. We'll get at him. I'm going to make a fake account. Yeah. Or make, how about this? Even better, make a real one. Make an, a second real account? Second real account. Dude. Just dicks. I didn't Everywhere. even think about that. We'll do the, 
We'll do the, the the boob thing where they fucking walk past, <laughs> but we'll, we'll walk out with our dicks, our dicks, and then we'll come back like, "What? No, I had a leaf over it the whole time." <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Just post like 400 pictures of dicks and be like, "Guess which one's mine?" <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Winner gets a free dildo. I don't know. That's kind of a shit prize. Well, if they're looking at dicks, we, chances are they want a fucking dildo. Mm. Possibly. Yeah, I think you reached a little. Let us far know if you're one. looking at dick pics. Do you want a dildo? Speaking of dildos, huh? Hey, you know what I haven't done in a long time? What's that? I haven't sent you to you in a, a good hot minute. Well, it's good because that whole fucking thing that you do with the sensuous is stupid. Do you need a beer? I kind of do. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, fine. Please, thank you. Well, while we're waiting on the sensuous, uh, I was going to remind everybody to go ahead and like and subscribe. Subscribe! Yeah, I'm already. Comment on the video. Uh, email us if you really want to at klovebuy at klybstudios.com. Dot Yeah. You got it right. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's... It's, it's klovebuy at klybstudios.com. I just couldn't remember if it was KLYB Studio or KLYB Studios. Dude, we need to make a jingle for that. For the what? Like, askjeeves.com. You know what I mean? Make a jingle for our... I don't think... Was there an AskJeeves.com ask jingle? I'm pretty sure it was AskJeeves.com. I don't remember. Just like that. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, dude. Jaden got mad at me. Oh, uh... Oh, yeah. We went to the, the quarry before we went to, um, uh... Shania. Shania mm-hmm. Twain, which was a great concert, by the way. We were at the quarry, and they're like... The they're, like, they're like, what do you want to drink? And I'm looking over and I can't see their taps. I'm like, what do you got on tap? And they're like, we got this, 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 and this. Uh, this, this one's real hoppy and, and doing the whole like mm-hmm. brewery thing. And I'm like, do you got anything on the pull tab draw bar that comes in a 30 pack? And they're like, well, we got uh, uh, Michelob Light or Michelob Ultra. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll take a seven and seven. <laughs> Jaden was like, really? You have to say if it comes in a 30. I'm like, yeah. They knew what I was talking about, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I drink. If it comes in 30, except fucking Coors Light. I had to drink that at Top Golf the other night when we were up there. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. God, it, was just, I, yeah. fuck, it was free. Free beer again. Dude, that is why that okay, that Coors Light is exactly why I had to pee in a bottle in the back seat of the truck. Because it's mostly water. Fuck yeah, dude. I had I peed like 14 times before we even left Top Golf. Yeah, I peed a bunch too. There's nothing to absorb. Mm-hmm. It's like drinking a fucking gallon of water. You're just peeing. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, Top Golf's food is actually pretty fucking good. Let's Never talk. Let's before. talk about that flatbread pizza. That flatbread thing. thing was good. Yeah, they had like oh. pastrami on it or something, dude. And pepperoni, I think it was good as fuck. There was some shit on it, and it had like the it had those uh, pepperoni pepperoni peppers. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, it was good. Didn't expect. I mean, and it wasn't expensive. Their food's reasonably priced, no, dude. Top. Hey. If you've never been to a Top Golf, you should check it out. Even if you don't golf, that was fun. It is fun. We got all kinds of games and shit. You can. Drew said. Drew said this, and it, and it it made me laugh. He's like, he's like, Top Golf is fun to go to, uh, with a group of people that don't golf, because it's fun to see who does really well in Top Golf, mm-hmm. compared to like the people that actually golf. You know, because I was, uh, I hit, I was hitting some shots. You know, and they were fucking not landed where i wanted them to and, and drew was like it's funny when you watch people that actually golf go to top golf and like do piss poor because you know like regular golf right it's totally different than playing top golf well yeah and then you get these other people that are just out there hitting the ball and they're getting lucky and it's dropping and they, and, and they just whoop ass i'm like that that would be cool to take a shit ton of people that just don't golf and be like hey, let's see who wins yeah. <laughs> it'd be like let's 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 fucking bet on who's gonna win, you know. Throw some dollars. It'd be on like it. hor- it'd like be like betting on horses for like normal people that don't watch horse racing, like the Kentucky Derby. When I, yeah, when I bet, it's like 
<laughs> just lucky. I picked I picked the, the horses that got the best names. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> that name's a good name. That horse is gonna win. <laughs> Has mm. nothing to do with them actually racing, but no. you never know. And then the horse the horse that won the Kentucky Derby. Mm-hmm. I think his name was Mage, Madge, M A G E. Mm-hmm. And my dumbass, because I read stuff too fast, and then I instead of reading it, I like I, my eyes look at it, and I th- I just think that's what it says. I thought they named it their horse Mange. Mange. <laughs> I was like, that's a great name. <laughs> Pick that guy. Pick Mange. <laughs> <laughs> and Mange, the horse won. It turns out it was Madge or whatever. Yeah. I went for a really good motorcycle ride today too. Did you? Yeah. Well, I okay. All right. I'm not going to say really good, but for the amount of riding I've done lately, I went for a pretty good ride after work. I took North Shore all the way around the lake and then jumped way down because they're doing road construction on the south side of the lake. Yeah. Went way down to B43 and then all the way over and back up and then to the house. It was like a 20, 25 mile little ride That's after bad. work yeah, yeah it was nice it was nice to get on the highway and like cruise yeah so we should go on a ride soon yeah because i feel like you rode your bike once twice this year yeah yeah once because it, it was nice that one week i rode the one day and then uh then it got cold and i haven't ridden it since because i've been having these fucking god damn it these weird, like, dizzy things, so I didn't want to hop yeah. on the bike. Like, oh, well, uh, my vision's all blurry. <laughs> Let's hope I make it to the fucking <laughs> shoulder or whatever. Dude, your brother hit a fucking deer on his motorcycle. <clears throat> yeah. That's a good thing. Dude, and it was in the front of the bike he hit it. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a good thing he didn't go down. Yeah. He sent me a Snapchat, and I was like, wow, I can't believe... You hit a deer and kept it up. Mm-hmm. And he goes, "Yeah, me either." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like my worst fucking fear, dude. Is fucking deer just cruising and a deer comes out of nowhere? Yeah, was, you can't. Yeah, when in doubt, ride the fucker out. Yeah, oh. I wonder if he had care on the back or not. Yeah, fucking that'd be real scary if you're a passenger and have no control. No shit. <laughs> Dude, so this is kind of a sad story here. It's going to be a real quick story, but uh, a girl that uh, some of us used to party with in high school, Mm -hmm. uh, she got married to a guy that was big into motorcycles, and they were in a motorcycle accident, and her husband died. Oh, really? And she lived. Mm -hmm. And she, she got pretty fucked up from the accident, too, but... Like, imagine that. Like, that's terrible. Yeah. Going down the road and you got no control and then accident's over and you wake up and you find out, like, the other one didn't make it. Like, mm-hmm. same accident. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking crazy. Yeah. Life's short. Live it. Yep. Sure is. It's a garden. Dig it. It's a garden. Dig it. Yeah. Famous words by Joe Dirt. He's dude. Life's he's a garden. He's my fucking role model, man. I know he is. We've talked about it before. Joe Dirt's fucking awesome. He's like your man, your main man. Dude, stop! What you did that? No, it, it wasn't not me. What are Look you at, doing over there? I'm like trying. You see this Doesn't dance? Do it. See this dance movie he's doing over here? <laughs> What's that called? It's called the Wiggle uh, <laughs> Shake. <laughs> the Wiggle Shake. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh. How long do you think you could hold a plank? Mm. I've done, I don't know, fuck, how long did we do them? Like no, a minute, three minutes? Like, like right now. Right now? How long do you think you could hold a plank? <sighs> Probably a minute. I mean, maybe longer, I don't know. So I'm not going to go past a minute, though. For those of you who want to know why I'm asking this question, I got some some cool tidbits for you here. There was a new record broke for Ripley's Believe It or Not the other day. Oh, that's still a thing? Yeah. A guy, I think from the Czech Republic it was. Mm, sounds about right. Broke the Ripley's Believe It or Not record for the longest plank. 
This blew my mind. Nine hours, 38 minutes, and 47 seconds. God. I can tell you right now, I have way better ways to spend nine hours of my (laughs) fucking time than standing in a fucking plank. He wouldn't be standing in a plank. He'd be sitting, laying. Project, uh, yeah, whatever. Being in a plank. Being in a plank. Yeah, fuck, dude. Fuck Fuck. nine hours? Dude. Fuck that. Imagine 10 minutes. Oh, hell no. That would suck. Nine hours? Nine hours. Nine hours. That's a whole ass work day. Thirty-eight minutes. That's like going into work, <clears throat> going in there, and just planking until you go home. Time to go. Uh. Uh-uh. Fuck that. No. Kudos to the guy that did it. Well, yeah, because that's all. I mean, getting. what is he going to get else from that? How long did he practice for that? Oof. His whole life, probably. Imagine your friends being like. Hey, dude, we're going to the bar. Come with us. No, nah, man, I'm busy practicing planking. I got to practice my plank. I got to beat the record, I'm training, training for my plank record. <laughs> I bet he's got no friends. If you did that to me four times, I'd be like, I'm going to stop calling Brendan. He's busy planking. <laughs> I wouldn't call you anymore. Yeah. I mean, we'd be acquaintances at that point. We would go, we'd downgrade to acquaintances. Yeah. I knew a guy. Used to be friends with Work, workplace proximity associates. He <laughs> <laughs> passed the guy in the hallway from time to time. Yeah, I see him every now and again. Used to be friends. You know, used to be friends. Something happened. Planking got in between us. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking nine hours, dude. Yeah, fuck that. There's a lot of things my, I wouldn't want to do for nine hours. You know how I know for a list. fact I wouldn't be able to do that? How? Because my abs are fucking hurting just thinking about doing it. <laughs> That's how I know I'm, mm-hmm. I'm out. Fuck it. Done. Done. You can have that record, buddy. I'm going to do like the, how many balloons can I pop in 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> That's more fun. Yeah. That's more of my my kind of record. That's a lot less of a commitment, too. Yeah. I mean, if you would have asked me fucking 10 years ago to do one of the athletic type records, maybe I would have been about trying. But uh, nowadays I'm like one of those, my kids are watching and they're laughing their ass off because it's cool <laughs> shit kind of things. Yeah. That's the record I'm going to go for. Mm-hmm. Which speaking of, we should sit down and go through Ripley's Believe It or Not and see if we can find a record that would be doable. For us? Yeah. Maybe like beer chugging or something. No, I guarantee you that one's, you know, there's some fucking wild motherfuckers out there drinking oh, yeah. beer. That one, I mean, I can drink a lot of beer, but Jesus, I, I guarantee it's fucking something ridiculous. You ever seen them guys take those DOS boots and they're just. Mm-hmm. I used to have one of done. those. I have one inside. And do you? I would never in a million years be able to do that in one fucking good swoop. No, it's like. A few gallons, I think. I can't remember exactly how many, but yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. 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 No, we need to find more like, we need, like, how many ants can you burn with a magnifying glass in 30 seconds or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> I doubt that's a Ripley's Believe It or Not record. Maybe, maybe we'll set a new record. Probably because we'd be like the first ones to attempt it. Yeah. We'd be in the book, though. Hmm. That's half the battle. You get in the book, then you can then you can brag. Be like, hey, I'm in Ripley's, buddy. Yeah. Believe it or it like, not. Oh, I can totally burn more than 30 ants in a minute. That's what it'd be, probably. Like 30 ants one minute. Yeah. But then you just you'd you'd beat their record. And it'd be like back and forth a couple of times, and then you'd get bored with it. Yeah. Like, find it find is, a different one. It's just stupid. Okay. Yeah. Be like wasp swatting or something. Uh no. I know you're a bitch. Dude, I saw a fucking video. Some guy, he was holding this wasp that was, I mean, it was fucking this big. It was like all black. He was holding it by the wings and this thing was like trying to sting him. And then he like let it go and it was like crawling on his hand. I'm like, this dude is a straight idiot. And I heard that thing, like it, it flew from his hand to the guy's shirt. And the noise that thing's wings made. I'm, terrified you oh my god did it make you piss yourself almost i mean it sounded like a fucking helicopter mm. uh, was it like a desert desert wasp or something? no it was like judging by the 
the video and the guy that was in it, it was he was probably like Cambodia or like Thailand or something like that. But thank God those are over yonder. Because yeah. if we had those flying around, dude, I don't know if I could go outside. Ever? Like you take a normal wasp, which like I'm getting a lot. I've been a lot better with. Mm. I mean, I, I still don't like shit buzzing around my face. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw, I saw you the other day on the boom and you're about to jump off you're all freaking out no i wasn't about to jump off but i did stop and i stood in the corner and was like get the fuck out of here and it wouldn't move so i took my hat off like getting ready to swing at it give them that's when you piss them off and they fucking target you well quit fucking we need to sit down and have a talk and just straighten it out right i got a bubble okay you want to be around me stay fucking 10 feet away (laughs) 10 feet. 10 feet. When I'm gone, you can inhabit the space I was in. That's all yours, buddy. (laughs) But no, they want to come in rusty bottom when I'm driving down the highway and buzz their fucking wings on the back window. (laughs) 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 Fucking slamming on my brakes in the middle of the highway, jumping out, cars Mm. honking at me and shit. Yeah. You're just a dangerous person to the world when there's a wasp nearby. Oh, dude. I'd, I'd probably run straight in the fucking... If there was a wasp buzzing in my face and I took off running, I'd probably run right in the middle of the road in front of a semi. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd be like, semi, wasp in my face. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, Colby was a brave man. <laughs> it would be, yeah. <laughs> it was a self proclaimed. That was a really great eulogy, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. Thank you. Done. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> That was a great, great mm-hmm. eulogy. A <laughs> heartfelt words from Brandon. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, that is the all the time we have for today on episode 39. What? WTF, w- mate. W- WTF, mate. Yeah, that's it. Shorter episodes, bro. Man, these episodes fly by. Hey, fly stay by tuned. Fast. We got uh, next episode coming at you on Friday. Yeah. After be, this one. Yeah, it'll be Friday. Hey, stay Mondays tuned. Mondays and Fridays, 6 a.m. You nailed it, buddy. Yeah. Mondays and Fridays, 6 6 a.m. Catch it on your drive to work. Catch it on your way skipping work. Catch it in the gym. Catch it leaving the gym. Catch these hands. Catch these hands. (laughs) All right. Well, until next time, guys. I love you. Love y'all. Fuck you. Fuck you. Kayla, love you. you. Bye. Bye. Let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks.